Oh yeah, it's that time. Oh well, I want to start off this video by saying that, uh, you know, my cat, my little white cat, well he passed away yesterday, so that sucks. But, uh, so I'll throw in a little picture here for a reminder, if you guys don't know or haven't seen the menu. Okay, so yeah, come here time, right? It's been sitting for, you know, since spring, since last spring, where I did most of the work. That's actually last winter. Ah, oh, crap. So this is not actually going to be starting work on the Camaro. This is going to be like a little history lesson of this car. You know, for some of you guys that are a little bit newer to the channel, uh, since I've gotten a few uh, few thousand subs since the last time I uh, made a video on the car. So last winter, last spring, we uh, well, I did all the work there for the chassis from the front section, from that cross member forward with the roll cage and everything, everything's new. But uh, yeah, so this car, first start, I've had this car since I was like, I think it was like 17 years old. I've had it for ever, ever. I started off in high school. We did the uh, rear quarter panels. Uh, I mean, a couple people. I did most of the work though. And I mean, it's still holding up. Still good to go. Um, but for like, I don't know. I've had the car for two, three years. Did like I did a little bit of work to it and didn't use it at all. Never put it on the road. I had just a small block in it. So before my first ever race with the Camaro, like the car was still like not in pieces, but the pictures that I'm posting right now. Um it was at that point and then uh Mr. DVS05 Mitch he mentions to me he's like well you know there's a race this weekend you know we should get your car together you know like and it gives us a week to, to get it going but we did get it going and uh for my first time I believe that I um I made top 22 out of 180 cars in street class that day or that weekend which was pretty good for my first time but uh, like I also have some videos that I'm gonna post right after this <laughs> you're gonna laugh but the best of the, the best of the car ran in the eighth file was uh, 998 9.98 that was the fastest which is actually about the same thing as what my Cummins ran in Manitoba so cool <laughs> The garage is really just built in the week. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. See what he does on the takeoff. S R Steph Riva Radical Ride. Something he made up. What?
raced that for two, three years until I decided to put a big block in it and tub the rear end. That's actually all the, like the build book video, saw pictures and stuff. I'll put a link down below. And uh, you can go, you can pause this right here, go check that out. You know, what, at what point we did the back part. I raced that, I went down the track once with it, once, and I, the fuel pressure regulator let go, I had to like, turn the fuel pump on and off to not overfuel the carburetor, blah blah blah. Anyways, I went down the track once, parked it, uh, left it there until winter time and I had to go park it in the back and I completely forgot that I only had engine, I, I mean only had water in the uh, radiator which is not good when it gets really cold because then you crack blocks and stuff so I had the engine redone you know for you guys that don't know what's up this is the uh, engine that's going in the car um, yeah it's gonna be pretty it's a uh, 30 over 454. So when I cracked the other one, I got that one done. Now this is just mock up. Anyways, I had one pass on it and I fucked it up. Whatever. <coughs> then I decided to build it up even higher with aluminum heads and the intake that I got now. It only had you know cast heads or cast oval port, those are rectangular. I upped the cam in it and everything, so it's really cool, really cool. So now we're basically at where we are now, where all the other videos I have, I have a playlist if you guys will go check, um, from where we built the front end forward of the frame, because the car was still, you know, a unibody with, it, with just a tub in the back and a six point cage. And so yeah, you know, this is where we're at now. Now, my buddy Jeff Weeb, you know, he has his own channel. I went out to uh, race with him in uh, Manitoba this summer, which you can go back a little bit and watch those videos. I went out with my truck, won first place in my class. He won in his class. We cooked, we drank a bit, we had a good time. It was awesome. So you can watch some of those videos if you want until uh, these ones start happening again. But Jeff said that he's coming racing here th next summer. So I have to have this thing done. Like I'm going to push like a retard. Like, you know, I just give her. Just got to go. You know, there's a little bit of chassis work left to do. And then after that, it's just, you know, floors, firewall wire it up, I gotta build a tranny, the tranny in there is not built yet, uh, it'd be two speed power glide, you know, fucking, it's gonna be awesome, so, yeah, that's the history, well, it's not the whole history, but, uh, I'll, I'll put more pieces in, we'll see what happens, some of you guys probably wanna know what's going on with this thing, well, I haven't even touched it yet. Not since we started it that week. Since I did that. But, uh... To me, I have to get that car done before I get this tractor done. But this tractor will be done by the summer. So I'll probably take that to the races too. It'll be awesome. So... Marathon.